Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm going to be doing my review of Sailor Moon Crystal Episode 6. I know this review is out late again, but again, it's not really late because, this, as I always say, this series, each episode is released every two weeks, so it's not technically late because Episode 7 isn't actually out yet. Anyways, though, in this episode of Sailor Moon Crystal, we got two major things that happen in this episode. No, three major things happen in this episode. First off, Usagi found out that that Chiba guy is actually Tuxedo Mask. No fucking shit. That's not really a plot twist. But she found it out. Good job. Good job, Usagi. You graduated to kindergarten. Anyways. The second thing is we get a little bit of info on the Dark Kingdom, which is what Queen Barrow wants to the legendary silver crystal floor to create the dark kingdom and I'm guessing destroy the moon kingdom as well because it's stated in this episode that it has the ability to destroy an entire planet you know so I don't remember Sailor Moon going to DBZ planet busting levels but who knows maybe it does um so yeah and I'm guessing you know if it can destroy an entire planet then obviously be able to destroy the moon and thus destroy the moon kingdom you know and we also get a little bit of foreshadowing of Sailor... Well, they call her Sailor V in this episode. We know it's Sailor Venus, though. I don't remember, though, exactly much about her. Um, so because of that, I do have a few questions. Like, what it, like, why is, does she already have her powers? How long has she been a Sailor Guardian? Is she, like, age an age-old Guardian or something that's been protecting Earth but until the other Sailor Guardians popped up again? I mean... There's some interesting questions I do have there, because again, I don't remember a whole lot about Sailor Moon, <laughs> okay, even though I was a huge fan of it as a kid. So, that being said, though, overall, this episode I thought was great. Uh, once again, Sailor Venus, I'm not too impressed with her so far, at least not with her foreshadowing, because she just seems like a carbon copy of Usagi. I mean, she kind it seems like she's about the same height. She has that long, flowing, yellow, or blonde hair, and she even has a... A cat of her own as well. Uh, it's a white cat this time, though. I don't remember what that cat's that name actually is, though. But that's similar to, say, Luna. Okay, so, not too impressed with her foreshadowing so far. Who knows, maybe I'll go to like the character when she's actually introduced. Who knows. But anyways, I think I'm going to cut this review short, though. Once again, a great episode. Uh, nothing real for me to complain about other than the standard complaints, which is, you know, animation. Although not bad, it's definitely better than the 90s series. Not the greatest either. The CG... Transformations really suck. Like, the CG is really bad. In, in those scenes. Uh, the CG uh, everywhere else, because the entire thing's been done by CG, as I said before, is amazing. But the CG in those scenes, in the transformation scenes, for some reason, suck ass. Alright, and also, Usagi's voice is ear piercing. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.